So, today I'm finally getting to install the MX-5 uh, Global Cup car livery on my ND Miata here. Uh, you might remember I had this on previously, however I need to redo it because it's kind of hard to sell a livery that you can't really take pictures of. So I had a nice matte black main stripe as well as a red accent stripe. Well, the red accent stripe is my keep and I've changed the main color to this light metallic silver. So in my hand is basically how you'll receive it. Just a big old rolled up ball of mess coming in a shipping tube. But once you unravel everything, it'll come with two main stripes as well as two accent stripes and then some rear stripes to go up the back as well. So today in this video, I'm gonna go through and show you exactly how to install this livery. Uh, so one thing I do recommend is including uh, the installation bundle that I also have as an option on the website on the product page. And that will include your water bottle, a squeegee, and a knife. And these things will greatly help you install these as this will be a wet install. So let's go over the stripes and we'll get started. All right, so once you have everything laid out here, it becomes a little more or less confusing. So you've got the main long stripes that go on the front, as well as these two rear stripes with the curvature that will follow the curvature of your doors. And then down here, I have four separate accent color stripes. This will be the accent color that you choose on the product page. So we're gonna take these here main stripes. I'm gonna fill up my water bottle and go ahead and get started installing this on the front of the, of the car. So one thing that I forgot to include is uh, blue painter's tape. This is quite handy in holding the vinyl in place on your car as you set it. Uh, first step is to thoroughly clean down your car. Uh, do not use any polishes. If you use like a nice polish cleaner or something, the adhesive of the vinyl will not adhere to it. So I recommend just using a simple glass cleaner or just some simple soap or water. <laughs> so once your surface is all clean, we're gonna start with the front main stripe here. And there's one thing I did have to modify with this with your, uh, with your blade, is I trimmed a little bit uh, towards the top just because of how we lay this close to the mirror and leave it in place. So, I'm gonna take my two pieces of painter tape I've already cleared off, and I'm just gonna basically lay this out real quick. So I like to leave about three inches from the left side of your headlight, and that gives plenty of room for putting in your um, your accent color stripe as well. And then the next piece of painter's tape I'm going to put right about here. And the other side of the placement I like to put this stripe is just, just underneath your side mirror here. And I'll put the rear piece of tape right there. So you might need just a little bit of fendangling here. Just to get this right. So, I'll probably lift that up just a little bit. Put that so it's just barely touching there. Yeah, I'm gonna need to pull this whole thing up a bit. So I'm sure this will take just a few tries to get right. But, like I said, three inches from your headlight. Move that up, move that down. And of course, a second set of eyes is always handy as well if you have them, but tonight I'm working myself installing this. And about three inches. So if you are very thorough, of course you could take a tape measure if you wanted to, but I say about three inches because I enjoy eyeballing things. <laughs> so I basically set the other side as well, it's just about three inches and match them both up. I'm gonna take this back piece of tape off. Come up with that a bit. And that. And you just basically have to make sure it contours across the side and over the hump of your hood here. All right, about three inches, contours nicely. And, oh, one other thing that you're gonna look for 
is I'll basically position both stripes uh, before I start applying anything. And I'll look for about the line of which uh, this stripe first hits your fender from coming off the hood. Yeah. That looks nice. Make sure that you have just enough room that the front of the strip here will wrap over and around your hood. You don't want it too short or else, well, that's just not going to look right. Yeah. Not bad. So, one other measurement I think I would take would be about three inches from the door handle here and lining upward. So I think one other thing I'm going to do is actual text write up so you don't have to keep on uh, rewinding through this video just to see what I'm saying as I go through this, but yeah. Alright, I think I will line up the other side. Uh, the rears are just a tad easier than the fronts. You don't really need to compare both sides, but when you're installing vinyl on the hood of a car, boy, let me tell you, if you install this thing just a little bit off, it's noticeable. <laughs> so you don't want to, you don't want it to be off. All right, so I've got the other side. I'm going to go along over here. And I'm going to set this up. Maybe I'll even move the camera now, just so you can see it a little more clearly from a direct front view. All right, so let's go ahead and check that measurement. I've got it about two and a half inches right now. I mean, that's not bad. I kept saying three, but that's not necessarily a rule of thumb. Um, three stripes, you kind of, it has a little bit of wiggle room, I suppose you could say. So, I'm going to put it just so it has enough room to wrap around over the front of the hood. Tape that down, bring this, so it's just touching the side mirror there. Not bad. Take that side and get that down as well. As I said before, about three inches below your door handle. Yeah, that actually looks just about right as compared to the other side. So that's why I say doing both sides before comparing or before actually laying down the vinyl. It helps. There's another another point that I said to focus on was matching the point of which this stripe will cross over your hood onto the fender. If both sides of that are correct, well, that's what you want. <laughs> yeah, you want both sides to be matching because you don't want it to be off, especially with stripes. It's just like just like side stripes. You ever seen side stripes? Uh, I want to say on a Mustang I saw recently that uh, they were just, just a hair off, but boy, it looked bad. <laughs> so this crosses over onto the fender right about there. And looking at the wheel, that's, that's about the same as well. Let me go ahead and measure the rear tip to the door handle, three inches, imagine that. And then here to here, yeah, that's about 2.75. So that might be a little too far in. Yeah, it definitely is, just from seeing the two tips in the inside. So let's try, move that over just a, just a freaking hair. I, I assure you, this will take a few attempts just to get right, but you don't want that to be off. I think I'll include this, all of this, in the video just to illustrate that point. You do not want them to be off. Okay, I think... That's pretty darn close. All right, so once you've got both your stripes all nicely mocked up on the car, it's time to start this here installation. So I'm gonna take my spray bottle here and my squeegee. Have those ready. And next, um, I think I'm gonna put a nice piece of tape 
right across it just so it doesn't shift on me midway through. This point is in place here. Looks good, looks good. So I'm just going to install this up to this point here. That all looks good, yep. I creased this line here just to illustrate that I have left a little bit of room to wrap around the hood. All right, so this tape is in place. I'll go ahead and peel this back. And if you wanted to, you can kind of just fold it back just a hair and stick it onto itself if you need to leave it be just for a second. So I'm gonna take my blade here. I'm gonna cut off the excess of the paper. Now, I would say tear, however, um, if you tear it, that can leave paper particles that can get wet and get underneath your vinyl and you just don't want that. Also, notice how I had the blade facing towards me up so I did not cut the paint. Just a little thing here and there. So, you'll take your water, unlock it. I'm going to go ahead and spray directly onto the vinyl as well as the hood itself. All that nice and nice and damp. It isn't soaked or anything, it isn't necessarily. I think I'm going to go ahead and just lay that right on over right down. Make sure, see, it can be lifted up if, if you need to, which is always nice about vinyl. So I'm going to go ahead and start squeegeeing from a center point. I'm going to go down from here and just slowly squeegeeing out all of the water. This is activating all the vinyl material. Now, there's one unfortunate thing about my car that I'm working on, and that is that the hood does not quite line up with the fenders, <laughs> which absolutely sucks. I'm not going to lie. Uh, part of the fun of having a rebuilt title car, some of the panels just has some panel gaps on the hood. It is unfortunate, but it does not stop too much. So I'm going to go ahead and squeegee this up. And just like I said, taking out all of the water. Yeah, this is working out nice. All right. And I'm really just slowly taking my time with this. Uh, side point, if you hear a baby going, ah, wow, 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 in the background, that's my son. He is here, he is the foreman, he is watching me do this job here. He probably thinks I'm talking to him throughout this entire install process, which is pretty adorable. And I enjoy having him in the garage that I work. So, if you do hear that, <laughs> that is what that is. It's not the TV in the background. All right, so, once that first part is taken off, all these extra bits are no longer necessary. And all honestly, um, at this point, the rest is pretty easy. I would say this, this first piece, going over the hump like that, is probably the hardest part of this entire, entire install that you're gonna have. So, go ahead and, eh, I could have left some of it on just in case it decided to go over itself or whatever. So, let's totally spray that, spray the car down a bit. There we go. I do like these misters we include. Like I said, uh, it is an optional piece, but I do have it available on the product page. Seven bucks. <laughs> Seven bucks on this is a squeegee, a knife, and whatever. If you don't do it, use a credit card. That's cool. Ooh, I messed up. So I had that already squeegee down. I had a little had a little wrinkle in that. Not a big deal. And one thing I think uh, is a better method is if I go from the front down. Otherwise, if I start from the back and going towards what I had already ad adhered, it uh. Well, it may not work. That came out perfect. Well, 
I'll say this, I'm no longer three inches down from my door handle. So I will have to make that adjustment on the other side as well. That is weird. I'm not sure what I did wrong there, but not bad. All right, so the next bit, I'm going to be installing the accent stripes. Uh, in this case, I chose to do red. And as a new, um, as a new option I did with this production, I chopped it in half. Uh, the first time around I was doing this, it was just extremely long, kind of hard to work with, but this should be chopped in half right about where the door line is. So with it not being so long, I'm just going to go ahead and take off the backing completely, right? Spray it down real good. Spray this down. And I want to say you take off the tape before doing this, just so you have a better, a better view of laying this down. But it should lay in between. Oh, the right side of your headlight is well as the stripe and you should have equal gap in between both of those. Now, if I were smart, I would use a tape measure. But as I have previously said in this video, I enjoy eyeballing things because I'm not smart. <laughs> and, uh, well, it is what it is. But yeah, just like that. I'm just going to... <laughs> Not bad at all. So the, the paper was trimmed so that it wouldn't go over the vinyl already installed. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the back piece, which is just one thinner strip than the first one. Pull this off as well. And find the spray bottle that I almost misplaced. Spray that down a little more. Now, I do have a little overhang off the back here, so I think I might just pull that off, pull that up for this. And I really should have taken off the previous masking paper, just so I can better visualize where this accent stripes going and of course I just almost laid it over itself and ruined the whole thing don't want to do that if you do do that let me know <laughs> I'm more than happy to give you a discount just to maybe make you know a single stripe or whatever not a big deal awesome I think I think that came out just right and I mean, at this point, this, this stripe is so skinny that I'm just using my thumb to press it down. Um, so yeah, one thing I will include that after all this vinyl is installed is, uh, if you could go over it with a heat gun, if you have a heat gun, I recommend using that. Otherwise you can park it out in the sun. Uh, you just have to let the vinyl bake on a little bit, just get a little bit hot and the heat will activate uh, the adhesive in the vinyl. All right, so I think I will reposition the camera and get a better shot of pulling this off. So let's go. Cut. Ow, 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 ow. Whoa, whoa, wow, 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 wow. So this new camera angle, kind of just wanted to show, removing the application tape. Um, this doesn't look like it's coming off. Removing it kind of just put it against itself. And go ahead and slowly remove this. Not too bad. And I think I'm going to go ahead and cut the door line through the door line. Yeah. And we'll just go ahead and do it like that. Just a little chop here. Get my handy dandy squeegee. Squeegee that sucker on there a little bit. No, and I'll go ahead and remove the silver application tape. Like I said, I 
I would recommend removing the silver application tape uh, first prior to uh, doing the red, just so you can visually line that up a little bit easier. Hmm, looks like I got a little bubble in there. Well, let's continue to remove the rest of this application tape. I'm gonna go ahead and do them. Yeah, I'll do the red first. See, that started lifting right there because I wasn't pulling it back against itself. That's not what I want to do. Go ahead and just pull it as it goes. Perfect. And of course, this bit will wrap over the hood. Now, as you can see, there's a good amount of lift here, and that's why I previously mentioned about a little bit of panel gap on this car. It is unfortunate, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and make my cut uh, prior to cutting the, uh, taking off the application tape. It'll just make cutting it that much easier. Uh, this is a break off blade. <laughs> if I need to explain this, but if I do, you could take the end off and there's a little bit right here. You just snap that blade off. It's a snap blade, fair enough. I'm going to go ahead and make that cut. All right, let's continue taking off this tape, pushing against itself. Come on, and then you pray for no bubbles. No one likes, oof, we got some bubbles. Yeah, we do. I did not squeegee it well enough. Can usually results in that, but it's not a big deal. Because there are ways that we can take it out. Let's remove the top portion here from the hood bit against itself. Yep. There we go. Bubble freeze the way to be. Yeah. So I still had just a few bubbles here and there. I will go ahead and lift this vinyl here. Just enough to get some of that water out. And we can squeegee it hard back down. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. I think this, well, I am going to use a heat gun here just to help adhere the vinyl on the sides. Um, wrap around to the hood. Yeah. Let's see if I can push this out. No, so this one I'm going to have to poke. Nobody likes poking vinyl. Sometimes it just messes it all up, but it does take the water out of it just fine. Just a very light poke as to not damage your paint. Yes, and it is no longer noticeable whatsoever. All of the water has come from those little pinholes. So I have a few towards the edge. So this side went pretty well. All right, so now that we got the front stripes installed, we're gonna go ahead and do the back rear stripes. I've already turned the car around and decided to do the harder side first, set the antenna. Uh, for this, basically you're gonna take your blade, line it up just right, and basically cut a notch into it. that will fit around. You'll kind of just trace around that and cut around the antenna. So, go ahead and get started on that. So, basically this entire line, or this entire stripe, will line up with the body line here, and will continue the tip of it to run down the molded in body line of the car. It's really nice to look, honestly. Uh, I spent a good amount of hours getting that to line up just right into the body line. Let's just go ahead and lick it and stick it on. Basically, we're just going to go ahead and do it all in one lay. I'm not going to bother with, oh, laying the painter's tape, since it's just such a, a short stripe, you know? Pull this up. Give this a good spray from the spray bottle as well. We'll get this a close-up of this in a second of... Oh, how it goes along the body line here. I have this side lined up. I'll go ahead and tack it nice. I'll show you the finished result of exactly how I lined it up with that body line, but 
And I'll go ahead and just make a quick cut here. Yeah. So, and squeegee all that as well. Of course, since this is nice and wet, you can peel it up as needed. Let me go ahead and lay that back down. Nice, 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 nice. That's perfect. And of course, on these rear stripes, we also have the accent color that will go along below it. So, now once that's done, I think I'll go ahead and remove the transfer paper just so I can see better uh, where I need to trim along the antenna. So it did not tack enough towards the top here. Uh, it turned out real nice, so. So, come a little closer and cut. So, <laughs> now that you're a little closer up, I can show you closer in detail here how this is gonna go down. So you get that as close as possible. You'll kind of just run this ever so lightly. along this antenna. Not bad. Hmm. So, not bad, but not great. Not great at all. Uh, yuck. So this is the second time that I've done this uh, this livery on this car. This has not been the easiest task. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do right now is go back and hop on my computer and make a nice little cut of exactly where this is. Now that I have it uh, placed onto the car, I can get a good measurement where that is and have this pre-cut so you don't have to butcher it like I just did. All right, something like that maybe. Let's try this out. I love how it's supposed to be an installation video and I just end up bettering the product, but <laughs> if I'm having this sort of issues, I don't want you to have these issues. So that's what we're here to do. All right, it's close, but not quite. Yeah, a little too big. So it looks like the height's right, but it's a little bit too wide. And I want this to fit just perfect. So I'll bring it in just a little bit more. So attempt number two. Let's see if I got a little closer this time. Hmm, 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 hmm. Hmm, let's go back just a hair. Again, this is the lovely part of doing a wet install, is you can kind of just maneuver it however you'd like. However is needed. Hey, that looks good.
All right, not bad. Now with the silver installed, that'll be your first main color. Going to install the accent stripe here. So I'll have to do kind of the same thing. Just chop a little bit out of this portion. It shouldn't be all too much. I will probably leave this the same just because, well, this is going to vary depending on how you installed your main stripe. I wouldn't want that to be too off. So I'll go ahead and just do a quick cut of that. It'll line up just right there. We'll just discard this middle piece. <clears throat> uh, for this, since it's so fine, I don't think I'll be putting any water down. Not too worried about that. And it will go fairly close to your main color stripe. I think I'll do it right about there. And then continuing on down past that, uh, I'll probably do a little bit of water just so, <laughs> just in case uh, it ends up messing up a little bit. Hmm. Uh, I'll make this side get a little water on there as well. So. Like I said, maybe about, well, it's kind of a matter of taste on how, how much gap you want to leave between your main color and your accent color stripe. Uh, I've done it here maybe about a centimeter or so. Yeah, like, you know, fucking a third of an inch. All right, now that's on there. Let's start from the center. Squeegee it on down, back the other way, and boys, you got yourself a livery. Looks like this is just coming over the door here. That's going to be a very fine line to try and have stick on there, but I think once dried, that should stay just right. Pull that off. As I said, I didn't want to do that as a wet one, and it'll just stay on. Just right. So I still have my heat gun here. I do highly recommend a heat gun as it makes this process a lot easier. But like I said, afterwards, if you just want to leave your car in the sun and let it bake on, it should be all right. Using a heat gun as well will reveal any extra little uh, water bubbles that you did in your, uh, your stripe. Hopefully you have none, but I do see I have one. One little pinhole there, squeegee out the water with your fingernail. I guess you wouldn't say squeegee, but... And vanished. Eh. Yeah, the hole should be just fine. Mm -hmm. and there you have it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side as well. But this turned out pretty nice. Let's get a closer shot of the entire side. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, it has some serious Dale Earnhardt vibes going on with these colors, but Definitely digging this livery so far. Go ahead and trim your door line directly in the center. Yep. And wrap that around. Not bad. I'm happy to have this livery back on this car. It does look pretty good. All right, so the livery is finished on my MD Miata here with the global MX-5 cup car livery. I've got the rears installed and the fronts as well. Everything looks pretty darn good. Um, I hope this video has helped you uh, see that this isn't that hard to install. Basically, if you've uh, obviously if you've installed like side stripes in the past on an NA or another Miata or another car, uh, it's basically the same process as that, just uh, with a little more steps, you know, since it curves over the, the front of the hood. So overall, if you just follow the steps on about where to place it, uh, of where that lines up from the side mirrors as well as the, the headlight, it all pretty much installs exactly as to where it should go. Um, and I will also have a link to the write-up 
on photos of those specific measurements as well to help you out. So stay tuned for more videos like this in the future.